Hello friends, welcome back to the tutorial on Splunk. In this video we will be working on how to set up your Splunk server as deployment server and you can push the apps with configurations to the Splunk forwarder. All the commands and configuration file location details are available in the description of this video. So let's get started. If you have not seen my previous videos on Splunk server installation and forwarder setup, please check those to get the clear understanding. We are going to Please make sure the target IP is for your Splunk server, not for the forwarder. Restart the Splunk forwarder. Now if we go back the Splunk web page, under forwarder management we can see the client CentOS 3 under client tab. However we still don't see anything under data inputs because we have not informed the forwarder what to send and to whom to send. We will be doing this using apps and server class. We can create the server class using the create option in GUI however we will be doing this through the conf files. The first step is to create an app under deployment apps. Please note that these actions we are doing is on the Splunk server, not on the forwarder. Go to the location slash opt slash Splunk slash etc slash deployment apps and create a folder in the name of the apps which you like, and add a folder local in it. back to the Splunk web page and forwarder management, 
you will be able to see the app which you created. The next step is to create a server. In order to create the server class, go to slash opt slash splunk slash etc slash system slash local on the splunk server and create a file in the name server class dot conf. Steps you see on the screen to add the app and whitelist forwarder IP to the server class. that the client is not showing up now. So I have to restart the Splunk on the client forwarder. Now we have the deployment set up. In the next video we will configure the inputs and outputs to tell forwarder what to send and to whom. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe and like my channel.